First and foremost, before you can build a character, you need to have your relationships right. And the first relationship we need to have is the relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If that is not there, you have no foundation. The first condition of building yourself is knowing yourself. Knowing yourself, brothers and sisters, is knowing what you have that you can give that is useful. And what you don't have that makes you useless. Try to build those skills as much as you can. Number two, brothers and sisters, is called self-esteem. Self-esteem is your opinion of yourself. What do you think of yourself? Don't amplify yourself by reducing others and don't reduce yourself by amplifying others. Be balanced. Number three is confidence or overconfidence or underconfidence and there is the mature side. So it's got to do with confidence. What is confidence? In order for you to know yourself that you are confident, you need two things. You need to feel that you can do that thing. And number two, you need to know that you have the ability to do that thing. Ability and feeling. That is confidence. To be mature means that you know you do not have the ability to do it and you feel that you can't do it. Overconfidence, brothers and sisters, is when you know you don't have the ability but you feel you can do it. Don't. Don't do that, you'll destroy yourself. And the last one is called underconfidence. Underconfidence is when you know you have the ability and when it comes the time to implement it, you don't feel you have the ability. And this is what Rasul said, فَلَا تَعْجَزْ Rely on Allah and go forward, be brave as much as you can. We move on to the fourth one. Now this is something that I see a lot of people neglect. Self-management and discipline. Islam teaches us, get your priorities right. You have time management. Make a time for everything. Don't just use your time and, and waste it on everything. No. Number five. A person who builds himself or herself must be okay with constructive criticism. You will not learn unless you accept what people say. Sometimes they're rude. Sometimes they're polite. What you got to do, a strong person is able to sift through the emotions and take what benefits you. Number six. You need to accept your mistakes and be okay with them, completely okay with them. And you need to own your mistakes. That way nobody has control over you. And this will lead you to forgive yourself as well. Some people have problems forgiving themselves. They can never forgive themselves. Except that if you have done right by Allah, ask Him to forgive you. And know that Allah SWT wipes everything away. And you are only human, you make mistakes and you develop and learn. Number seven. Very important brothers and sisters. A strong person to build themselves, take this advice. Very simple, yet very hard to implement. A person to improve their Islam is to leave that which does not concern them. Don't go into areas that are not your business. Don't ask about things that are not your concern. Don't pry into things that don't concern you. Anything in life. Number eight. Avoid as much as you can jealousy, envy, and competing with others for the wrong reason. Competition is good, but not for the wrong reasons. Jealousy, envy, and competing with others for the wrong reason will destroy you, my brothers and sisters. It will destroy you. Number nine, your diet, your exercise, and your sleep. Three things. All of these are in the sunnah. Your diet can make a difference in your energy levels, your esteem, how you feel, your moods, and your health. Your exercise, Rasul used to exercise every day. And the way we sleep, monitor your sleep. Some people, they stay up all night and then they sleep late. Even if you get your 10 hours, it's not enough. You need to sleep early. Moving to the last one, sticking to your rights and your boundaries. How do you know you have a healthy, strong personality? It's when you know your rights, you know other people's rights, you know your boundaries, and you let people know your boundaries and you know other people's boundaries and you don't transgress the boundaries. So brothers and sisters, this is a strong person inshallah.